Hello again, my name is Basil, and this is the second tutorial for Scratch, the programming language. Um, and today we will be making a simple game. But first, I'd like to quickly say if you haven't already, you should um, check out scratch.mit.edu a bit more. It's a very good site. My username um, is newlandbb, that's my YouTube name. And um, yeah, create an account, have fun with it, um, and connect to the Scratch community. But first, I will just um, show you my game here, and um, you'll see what we're making today. Okay, as you can see, I controlled a cat, um, the default cat, and I have to guide it with my mouse away from this dragon. And if I touch the dragon, then the game ends. And if I touch the edge of the screen, the game also ends. So this is what I'm making today. Um, so we're going to be introduced to the forever, um, the forever script, and we're also going to be introduced to the if script. Okay, so let's make this project. Okay, so um, first thing we need is the when green flag clicked script, and we're also going to need. Because we don't want the scratch cat to be the same size that he is right now, we are going to get a set size script. And we are going to make him set size to 50%. So this is making him half as big. And we're going to put this here because otherwise the game is a lot harder. And um, if you want to make the game without the script, you'll see it's a lot harder to play. Okay, so now we need the forever script. Um, I described in my previous tutorial um, that. Um, whenever you had a script, a, um, a block um, of scripts, um, it would keep playing until it got to the last one. Now with the forever script this doesn't happen because it will get to the top and then when it's finished with all the scripts in, in between this it will just start back up at the top. So it will go forever, that's the name. Okay, so forever and we need the go to mouse pointer. Okay, so what this does right now, I'll just quickly show you, is it follows my mouse, which is part of the game obviously you could see. So it is forever following my mouse, you can see here. So when it's finished going to my mouse pointer it will go again and again and again forever. So it's constantly going to my mouse pointer. Okay, now we need to program in um, if you touch the edge, stop. So if touching edge control stop all. So this touching edge bit is in sensing and the if script and the forever script you will both find in control. So what this is saying is Every time it goes around in the loop, it will also check whether or not this scratch cat is touching the edge of the screen. So th these are the edges, obviously. Um, so if it finds that it is touching the edge of the screen, then it will stop all of the programs. If not, it will just leap over it and just ignore it. So it will continuously do this. And yes, so we will now put in the dragon. Here he is, and we will also create a script for him. He also needs to um, keep on going forever. So um, he needs to point towards the scratch cat, sprite one, constantly. So he will look at scratch cat constantly, and um, this means that he'll be pointing towards him, and he will need to move three steps, ooh, hello. So if, yeah, we'll, we'll run this. And you can see he's moving towards the scratch cat because he's always looking at him and then he's taking three steps forward. So that means he'll be constantly moving towards him. Now also we need to put another if scratch, if script and say if he is touching the scratch cat. So if he ever manages to touch the scratch cat he will end the game, so stop all. Um, and the last thing we need to put in 
um, I'll just show you is well the second to last is we need the right coordinates so he will be going uh, I believe minus 160 and what was this? I put 110 last time I think that's the right coordinates yeah that'll do and um, we also need a wait one second script in both of these I'll show you just now I'll just quickly run the program and show you why we need wait one second Okay, so we go to click the green flag script, but what's this? A cat has gone to the mouse pointer, and we don't have time to take it away from the edge, and so you instantly lose the game. So what we need is we need um, the scratch cat to wait one second before he attempts to go for the um, mouse pointer, and um, then you'll have the chance to move your mouse away from the edge. Uh, and so not just lose instantly, which is what I did just there. Okay, and now we'll play our game and see what happens. And look at this. There. So, um, I hope you got that. Um, I'll be bringing out a new tutorial on variables and lists, which we will cover, and we will be making even better and bigger games. I hope you found this helpful. This is Basil signing out.